okay. Sebastian now has some crate manners and it worked for separation anxiety and he now considers the crate a pretty positive experience. So I'm just gonna go through our basic crate manners with you in this video. So when we send him to his crate, he should go directly inside and he can get a reward as soon as he gets inside of the crate. If I'm gonna leave him in his crate for a long period of time, I'll go ahead and give him some kind of toy or interactive toy, something with peanut butter inside of it so he can play with it and keep himself busy. When he's in his crate, he's also going to be wearing his bark collar so that he can't vocalize extremely loud. Um, when I'm ready for him to leave his crate, I'm going to go ahead and open the gate or unlatch the gate. I'm going to remind him to crate and then I'm going to open it using my body to block him from coming all the way out. This gives me the opportunity to put his leash and collars on, take off his bark collar, whatever I need to do before he busts out and take off running. So I'm going to remind him to crate as I open the gate, then I'm going to block it with my body. Whenever I'm ready for him to leave the crate, I'm going to say three. Let's give you an example. Sebastian crate. Good boy. Good boy. So then I can go ahead and say crate. Put his leashes and collars on if I need to. Good boy. And I'm ready to release him now, so I'll say three. Good boy, Sebastian. Good boy. Sebastian. Come on. Sebastian crate.